Last year, the Rabina Community Legal Centre was awarded Pro Bono Program of the Year at the Lawyers Weekly Australian Law Awards. Ross has practised since 1998 following an insurance career and also has a strong business in general insurance, life insurance and injury claims. He is one of the few lawyers accredited as an ANZIIF Certified Insurance Professional. Please join me in congratulating Ross and the hard-working volunteers of the Rubina Community Legal Centre. I should also mention it's Ross's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all going to sing happy birthday to Ross. Happy birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you, Ross. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, um, Queensland Law Society uh, Council and staff. Um, it's a great awareness that you've created in, in, in developing this award, not just for now, but in the future. So I'm delighted that uh, I'll see friends year after year uh, telling us about wonderful things we've done um, in volunteering and pro bono in the Community Legal Centre Fraternity. So I'm, I'm delighted that this award is here today. It's important, I think, that Law Society keeps close to all fraternities within the profession. Corporate lawyers, um, big firm lawyers, everyone. And, and I think um, legal centres are so special because the core business of community legal centres is pro bono volunteering. And that is, to me, the most important thing uh, that we have aside from our duty um, to the court. That's really a defining thing about our profession um, and it, it's such a delight that we see the, the retired, the practicing profession bring on the new um, lawyers of, of tomorrow. It's such a joy to, to witness. It, the pro bono tradition of course is vast, it's, it, it's far beyond community legal centres and I'm the first to say that we all do pro bono in private practice all the time. I've had my own firm for 11 years, I know that very well. But community legal centres practice in non-legally aided poverty law and that's a big area, it's, it's a big area and we rely so much on amazing volunteers um, that are really very good at, at what they do. I have a lot of thank yous of course, my wife Tracy and family have been um, so wonderful in support. Um, the committee, um, George Farmsis, um, Adeline Yap, uh, Martin Mallon, um, Daniel Marcantelli. Um, th these are people who give up a, a lot of their time that uh, they would otherwise have uh, to spend on personal pursuits. Uh, we have a, a great bunch of volunteer lawyers. These, these are just wonderful lawyers. I, I look across 10 advice desks on Thursday evenings and think, Thank God these lawyers are not against me. These are really good lawyers that come along and I'm delighted that we, we have the benefit of their experience, that it's the, the core of us and the students. Really, they're, they're so enthusiastic. Um, it's, it's amazing to see the energy between a retired practitioner coming back with the CLC only practicing certificate issued free by the Law Society <laughs> to, 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 bring, to have that energy and the dynamic between the, the students. So, um, we, we come from partners of the Queensland Law Society, um, the uh, Gold Coast District Law Association, of which we're an independent initiative, um, Community Legal uh, Centres Queensland, I saw James tonight, and great partners in, in Gold Coast City Council, whose community centre that we enjoy. Uh, Bond University, Griffith University, uh, Penny I saw tonight, that there are many here that uh, are amazing supporters. Um, but we changed last year 1,353 lives. And those are not just lives solely, but their whole family. 
and it's a wonderful thing to, to witness. We um, started, I guess, Rabina Community Legal Centre was perhaps my midlife crisis task. <laughs> but come along, just stick your head in the door, your local community legal centre. You'll be very glad you did.